Hello everyone, Speed Demon here and welcome to a new Let's Play playing as the Khmer Empire. So today's episode we are going to go ahead and get started on two different plans here. So plan A is to be going for a religious victory because our holy sites are granted a major adjacency with rivers, culture bomb, and food equal to the adjacency bonus as well as two housing if on a river. This, if you couple that with Feed the World, Gurguara's, and also the river goddess Pantheon, you have yourself a recipe for an incredible, incredible amount of population. And you set yourself up there with an incredible amount of population. So that's going to be our goal for this particular episode, is to go ahead and get started on that setup. Um, first things first, we want to go into, I would say ideally, a scout. And then monument is the nice, just kind of keep it in the queue, just in case there's other stuff that we're not working on, we could work on that. We're in a position here where there's quite a few different sugar tiles and we want to think about getting adjacency bonuses for three different holy sites. So, holy site one, holy site two, holy site three, and then government plaza. And that's going to give us some very good yields. As we can see here, a plus five adjacency bonus. That is a beautiful amount of yields. So that's a big play for us. You're getting adjacency all the way around, and that allows us to get some very high yield. So that's an average, that's a total of 12 faith and 12 food. Then if you put the scriptures card off, which is just right over here, then you get 24 of each, which means you get some very busted yields. So let's get right into it, and let's get to those goals. Uh, we want to try to find city-states and other civilizations early. Now we are going to be having access to those resources, so it's definitely not going to hurt if we go ahead and get ourselves a good position to start with. This scout will definitely be important for that purpose. We have been, we are the first person actually to meet Aventa, which is not a bad okay. As I'm about to finish my sentence, there we meet Poland. Okay, so except with your hospitality, you're far enough away and she doesn't know we're here yet so if she goes within this region here she'll know that we have our city here uh, we're going to need to be quick about this position so we need to grow fast uh, what we also want to do is kind of plan out economically what our position position is going to look like next thing we are going to need to do is go ahead and plan out economically what our position is going to look like so there are four tiles that we need to try to push for eventually getting to this one getting these two tiles right here, and then trying to push for this beautiful 1-3 tile. Now, from a production standpoint, this is going to be our bread and butter, because these two tiles here, if we get a builder over here, and then just basically, once we get some other things done, go to mining and chop the woods. By chopping these woods, basically what that's gonna do is gonna give us a pretty good chunk of production each, and those chops will help kind of complete certain projects. I'm just looking around, seeing if there's a potential settler that we could steal. Stealing a settler would be good. That's a settler right there. I'll set myself up there. Okay, that's not bad, actually. Well, let's make our way over there. Uh, you know, I'm going to fortify here because they have to pass through me. And if they separate, that's an opportunity right there. We are eight turns away from getting astrology, though, so we're a little ways away, but it's definitely a good card to have. Um, once we have that, then we can actually potentially, actually we could, if we set up a second city, go for a Stonehenge push, bus, but that's a tough one. Oh, we just got a free builder. Oh, that's massive. Oh, that's huge for us. Okay. So that free builder there means that we have two chops right in this region here. Well, probably for the time being, I would say we could probably make, uh, actually, is that a reef tile? That is. So let's chop that and place down a campus right there, plus two campus. That's, <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, what we have also available is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so not that many. Actually... A second city here would be good. So that means four. Uh, this would be better here. Somewhere over here, a little bit more spread. That way we are we are closer to that civilization. 
Uh, they're moving back. That's good for me. That's good economically. That brings up to four. So that's a good adjacency right there. So that's 13 total. That'd be 26 with scripture. Back around here. Um, nothing too crazy over there. So I'm going to just have that go back to sleep for the time being. And let's see here. Inter You're declaring a surprise war. And you're bringing that over. Okay. okay. Um, well, this is odd. I'm going to bring that scout over because even if I lose that warrior, that scout's doing a good job of giving me information. They're fortified, so there's a chance they may stay fortified. So uh, let's link up. Go to the east. I need to basically break away here. So what our goal is going to be is get this scout over to here. We're going to try to immediately settle for that city there. We need to gain control of this area a little bit. Uh, this this is going to be a big chance for us to get some good tempo right here. Because what we could do as well is I was talking about getting a stone hedge push. And this may be the opportunity to potentially push for that. It may be a slow build, but at least we can consider it. Okay, so now we're in a bit of an important kind of position here. Um, what I'm going to do, that's a little trick here, is I'm going to bring this down. You are going to fortify it. You are going to go back because I want to kite that unit over. Um, I want to go ahead and try to kite a unit over with that. And you are going to bug out for the time being. This worked. That is massive for us. Uh, yep, it looks like religious settlements got taken, so that's fine. So we are going to be taking the river goddess. There we go. So, first thing first, we're going to heal. You go back, set up new city. And now we get over here. We protect this area. First focus is we need to get population right off the bat. So we need to focus on that. We have plenty of housing, but we definitely don't have a significantly good position here to work with. Yeah, if we could try to get one or two chops potentially, um, that could be really huge for us because by the time we get those two chops, those chops will help kind of get these holy site prayers up and running a little earlier. And if we could try to get that religion by like turn 30 something. So the plan is basically, and plan A, is if we do get the first ever religion, uh, what's going to be good is we can then get beat the world and we can play into our plan if we are not the first person then what we're going to do is go from a religious victory into a culture victory and then take choral music instead and we're going to try to get the second religion if that doesn't end up happening as plan a so we're going to kind of roll with it hopefully we are able to execute as well as we can i honestly thought that was about to be so on hedge i would have been surprised well stonehenge got built which means uh I'm waiting for the religion to pop up. Well, moment of truth. Oh, we can get it. <laughs> Dude, what is the AI doing? They took Stonehenge early. And then they didn't do anything with it. What? Okay, well, you know what? I'm not going to count my blessings there. Uh, feed the world. The good war. There we go. We are going all in towards the religious victory now. We are in a perfect spot to do that. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, that's so huge, dude. That's actually like a huge relief to get that. Because that means now we can immediately start spreading our religion early. Start gaining control of this area. So I like this. This is really good for us. Time to bring that to the east, though. I need to get rid of that. At least now, before it gets too bad. Oh, oh that is actually massive, though, for us. Let's definitely try to get a religion set up over there, though. Because that's going to start putting religious pressure. It does. Good. If that moves back or crosses, 
There's a chance I could get that damage, but oh, let's cancel that. Don't want to be going up. About to get to six population, and we have a whopping ten population available to us. So <laughs> things are looking good. We're in a very well balanced position as well, so positioning is pretty solid. Only that one can attack us, so we should be okay. Let's definitely get over there though. Now that we have irrigation done, that's gonna be pretty useful for us. We need to try to see if we can get some uh get some gold in the long term, so this will be how we do it. Uh, writing wouldn't be a bad idea because honestly we do have a nice campus potentially there. We also do have some other places that we can develop infrastructure. So this little area is not too bad. Uh, we can't build Stonehenge like I would have wanted, which is fine. That's not really the end of the world. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, reinforced tiles. So potentially, if I were to combine forces with a city in the north, uh, what I could do is i could set up potentially let's see here uh, let's, let's do a little thinking let's brainstorm a little bit here so what we could do is with a theater square we can place theater square right here we can place harbor right here kitchen itza right there this would be a pretty decent little spot right there or we could chop that place theater square there and then replace that with a commercial hub and this could be a pretty good commercial hub it's a good way for us to get quite a bit of gold value as well out of that so i can use that with emissary to provide a uh, provide a negative two loyalty debuff to these cities Every so if some of our cities start exchange. getting taken by anybody uh that could be an option uh i'm actually going to be friendly with her we're going to take that promotion and take battle cry. I want to be friendly for now. It doesn't have to be permanently. Okay, I would rather give it to Tokugawa because we know uh, wherever he is, he's somewhere down south here that's a little further. Ah, there's Wilhelmina. Okay, uh, that, you know, their position's a bit further south, so we're not really in as much of a risk, whereas if he sold horses to, uh, to Poland, this would be more of a concern, so... Just trying to be careful about that. Levied from Condi. Oh, that's another religious city state. Oh, we're going to need to meet them soon, actually. Oh, that. Oh, my heavens. Look at those tiles. Look at those tiles. Two, three, two, four, two, four, and two, four. Oh, my gosh. One, two, three. Oh, yo, hold up. Oh, man. Look at the potential yields with a preserve there. Oh, dude, those are going to be so gross. We've got to go into this kind of set of uh, positions here anyway. So what we'll do is we're going to go into that and then into those. But we want to go ahead and try to get this uh, this preserve set up here. This preserve is going to be super nice for us. And it's going to give us a fantastic set of yields. I mean, these towns are already fantastic. But allowing them to get a significant amount of food growth, production, science, culture, gold, faith, all that is going to provide us a big benefit. So this is really cool. That works. While we're at it, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look here. We've got plenty of food. Let's go into a monument. A lot of gold that we just made all in one. And also have met Beowulf. Interesting. Now, unfortunately, we are going a good bit over the maximum era score for this uh, era to get the gold mage. I'm not trying to do that, but it's just kind of happening, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to make my way back to that area, though. I could use the production a little bit. We're at a nice eight population in that city, though. We are very much moving along. Uh, it's keeping its loyalty a little bit. Um, that's honestly keeping its loyalty because of that governor title. So if eventually we get into espionage a little later in the game here, which will be right at diplomatic service, then we could potentially dip into that, use that to uh, kind of neutralize governor, 
force that city into our city and then that could help us so i kind of like that idea so our way of doing that more easily is by just heavily pushing on population getting a lot of people out and that's going to be a good way for us to gain that tempo yeah i like that one a lot helps get more religious spread as well and while we're at it it's giving more than anything else for food and two production to this city which is going to help this city move along a lot more so we do want to try to have some occasional trade routes basically that's going to allow us to kind of just pick up our growth a little bit more really get it moving along the way i like it that looks like an economic city state of some kind not sure exactly what though I may consider uh, placing Magnus here because Magnus with provision actually might be very, very powerful in our capital for a while. Because as, as we start trying to expand, we're going to be trying to make more settlers. And that's what our capital is going to be really focused on. So. That's a negative loyalty. Good. Zanzibar. First, let's go ahead and buy that Prasat. That's going to give us four error score. That already takes the edge off a little bit, right off of that. Uh, what we also want to be doing is potentially getting new cities. New cities will help us get more output as well. Uh, more population in these cities will also help put more pressure into that city. That's good. Uh, if that gets taken, if that capital gets taken, this city will become the new capital, yes. But potentially the good thing is, is that is going to lose a good bit of loyalty and that's going to make it easier for me to put pressure on that as well. Uh, these cities will start to display more loyalty issues as well in the long term. I may actually be able to get a couple cities out of this. So I do like this. Uh, this is a position that I could develop, especially if I do get this city up and running. Uh, what we can do like right away is potentially set this up and set up a holy site right here. Uh, this would actually be a pretty good holy site. Although, honestly, Industrial Zone right here would be excellent. Because uh, this region here would be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. That right there. Super easy. Because this is going to cover a massive area. This is going to allow us to get to a lot of cities. That's a lot of power output. And yes, we eventually, if we do have to declare war at some point later in the game, we may consider that. Especially for these cities, create a ring of cities in this region. So, for example, settlement locations. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, none over here, but we could fill in this region here. So we could potentially pick up more cities and then get all of these cities set up. That's going to be great. Eight cities potentially with additional power output and like power load. So that's good. Um, um, let's see. Nothing really good there. Rest of all this looks good. Definitely could use the gold. And this looks great, actually. There we go. Just wanted to go ahead and get myself that uh, Susan T back. That way I've got that covered. And we still have two envoys available, so... We can we could use that to our advantage this is looking good i'm very very happy uh this episode honestly we've made some very good strides i'm quite happy with what we have been done we have been doing it is time that we go ahead and start getting into the waters and next episode it is time that we get started on exploring the world around us if you enjoyed watching this episode i'd like to ask you to hit that like button comment and subscribe it's been a lot of fun doing this and i hope you're enjoying it as much as i am making it that being said Thank you so much for watching. Speed the Amana.